On this episode of the 5P Podcast, I, your host, Michael J. Penny, am talking with Brian Tomlinson, who works with us here at 5paragraph.com. He has a whole lot of valuable insights to bring as far as project management is concerned, working in regard to logistics constraints, administrative constraints, working with a variety of people in a whole host of different disciplines. We will get into his background and a number of the different projects that he himself have worked on. He is an entrepreneur, owned his own contracting company, did a variety of different things in that regard, and he brings a whole bunch of expertise and experience to Five Paragraph. I've said it before, fiveparagraph.com, based on the military management methodology, we are here for you. It is for the modern workforce. Brian Tomlinson provides a great deal of valuable insights inside of the 5P inner circle. So, Brian Tomlinson, without further ado, welcome to the 5P Podcast here on the YouTube channel, brother. Yeah, thank you. Great. It's, uh, it's really good to be here, and it's, it's, this is always fun. I love doing this. Heck yeah. It's always good when I can convince Brian. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I know. <laughs> we should do this more often. <laughs> Brian guys, good people. It's one of those things where he's like, hey, man, I'm out to help folks. And I'm like, yeah, we got to share some of those valuable insights. So, okay, let me toot your horn a little bit here. All right. <laughs> well, I don't know. My head might get too big for the screen here. <laughs> right. It'll be too big for that hat. Yeah. <laughs> we'll circle back to that hat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's fantastic. We have matching scally caps, by the way. We go out in public looking like that together. All right. So, your background. Let's just, let's just kind of bring it back a little bit here, okay? You were born and raised in North Carolina. You graduated here. Yeah, I said it. Yep, yep, I did. Here, right, went to school here, further education, all of this other stuff. But then you gravitated towards project management. So you have a – here's the thing that I love. You have a background in criminal justice, right? Criminal, criminal yes, science? yeah, that's correct. Okay, so background in criminal science is sort of studying that and, and applying it and, to a certain degree. But then come out of that, and then you wind up going into the trades. Yes. And, and, and being in contracting, right? What, and so was that, hey, it's time for me to make money? Was that where that route wound up taking it? Well, actually, um, I have to correct that. Um, what happened is, is I got involved with the trades because that was a really booming industry in the 90s. And I loved being outdoors, just growing up here. Um, that was a big influence in my life, just you know, uh, everything was done outdoors, especially in that time period. Um, and I love building things and seeing progress take shape, physical shape and form. Uh, and then over the years, you know, a couple of injuries, a couple of different changes in the economy and the way businesses and technologies were evolving. Um, I wanted to get involved with criminal justice because I recognized that the population with it booming, the crime rate is, was as well. Here's the other thing that I, as I read up before I entered the criminal justice studies programs that I was in, is that it, I knew that it would enhance my ability to write, to uh, rely on critical thinking skills and investigative skills, which translate anything, any kind of work you're doing to compile data, information, uh, to conduct interviews, to interact and communicate. It only enhanced all the things that I had already learned to that point. Um, and then once I had done that, I yeah, I had to go back to work. I had to make some money because I, I wasn't able to, to do that immediately. Um, a lot of different life changes going on. And then I, literally someone just offered me a position as a project manager again. So I went into it. This time was it revolving around IT and not about the, the, the trades. So I was integrated and everything fit together well because of my structural and construction project management background with IT infrastructure and Wi-Fi and other enhancements that were, uh, that I was called upon to, you know, Im implement with large teams across the U.S. in different areas. 